Good morning and welcome to another day. Oh, there's a massive bee thing just flew past me. And welcome to episode three of Vlogvember. I am yet again in Seminyak for like the millionth time. Today we are off to a secret location, which is now not so secret because you've, put it, you've seen it in the thumbnail. So anyway, we're off to Uluwatu and various other places in Bali. So um, this bee thing is gonna kill me. Come with me and we will see what we're gonna discover today. Let's do some vlog crap as well. this stop wasn't on the itinerary for today, we've just off of a Carrefour or Christmas Wonderland. You know I've been travelling for a year now, right? Um, and if you've watched since the beginning, you'll know that, look at the Christmas trees, you'll know that um, right at the beginning was Christmas in um, Singapore. So um, I have come full circle. See what I did there? And um, by the way, Frida crashed the car on the way here, although crashed is a slight exaggeration. Basically, um, she smashed the wing mirror on another car, um, but it's totally fucked. So. I don't know what's going to happen, it's a rental car, so who knows? This is the extent of my budget today, mango smoothie, 8,000 um, rupiah, beautiful. And I really need to get a new t-shirt, because look, I've had this like since Thailand, a long time ago. Ugh. So I hate it when you come to the supermarket and all we can find is tinsel, lawn mowers, and an angle grinder. I don't even know what that is. Okay, you have to bear with me because I've just woken up. It's taken about four hours to get here after attempting to get the wing mirror fixed. Um, I'm now at Uluwatu Temple, which is an 11th century Balinese temple. See, I've done my research. And um, by the way, it's laundry day, which is why I'm wearing this. It's the only top I've got left. Obviously, with temples, I think you have to dress modestly and cover up, but they have got um, like sarongi things and stuff like that, which you can cover your arms and legs up if necessary. But I have seen some women going in showing their arms, so it's um, obviously not as strict as a lot of the other places I've been to. So uh, anyway, enough bollocks, let's go and have a look. Um, who do I look like again? Uh, you, my friend, he looks, uh, you look like Sam Smith. Sam Smith? Yeah. Sam Smith. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a nice little day out. Um, it cost 20,000 rupiah to get in, which isn't bad. Um, just a word on the dress thing. So um, if you've been to Thailand and Cambodia, etc., it's very strict with not even arms showing, that sort of thing. But here, it's fine. Um, other thing, if it's your period, you're not allowed in, basically. Just as like, just like as the ones in Cambodia and Thailand and everywhere else. So we're gonna go somewhere else now, not sure where.
So we've now made it to Pantai Pandawa, Pandawa Beach, I believe. And you know what? It's a bit of a hidden gem. It's great because I'm literally the only Westerner on this beach right now, which is awesome because, you know, in Bali, it's very tourist orientated and um, it's great to come somewhere where there are no rude English tourists, fat Americans, you know what I'm saying. So um, it's good to mix with the locals. That's what travel is all about. Um, the other guys have gone off in a canoe. I'll leave them to it. Okay, can I just clarify? I have no idea what's going on. Because I've just a load of kids come up and they wanted to practice their English, which is great, how appropriate. Um, then an another gang of girls come up running up to me uh, wanting their photo taken, and now two grown men have done the same thing. Um, either they've never seen a Westerner before, or um, they're obviously YouTube subscribers. So they're back from their little trip. Looks like it was eventful. <laughs> I've been in the water, you can probably tell by my hair, um, just more on the school kids thing because my battery was on 1% when I was filming that bit so I couldn't talk about it. <gasps> anyway, um, yeah, that was really cool because um, as I'm now qualified as an English teacher, I could actually talk to them about stuff with actually knowing what I'm talking about, which was a shocker, probably the first time in my life that has ever happened and they were very appreciative. See, I'm making a difference in Indonesia, awesome. Brilliant. Setengah berapa? Lima. Ini satu dua puluh. Lima puluh lah. Ini. Pemandangannya sebelah mana? Cimbaran. Cimbaran. Sebelahnya itu apa? Apa sih? Watermark. Watermark. We've now come to Jimbaran Fish Market, which is awesome. Basically, you buy the fish here and um, take it to one of like, the restaurants, which I'm going to go to in a minute, and they basically cook it for you, which is totally awesome. Um, Charlie's getting some red snapper, I think. I feel like chasing a plate. Awesome. Um, yeah, I've never seen so much seafood in my life. Um, you got squid, lobster, crab, prawns, everything you'd expect. Charlie, got your snapper? He's not talking to me. You got your snapper, yeah? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, so we've got the prawns, we've got the red snapper. I don't know what that is. Looks like a crab. Is that crab? Yeah, it is. Crab, crab yeah, yeah. Right. Wonderful. My batch is dying, we have music in the background, our fish is cooking. I'll attempt to put some photos in the uh, at the end of the video to show you what the food looked like in the end. But hey ho, um, Charlie, don't forget to like, comment, and we'll see Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, exactly. Happy days, and we'll see you in the next episode of Vlog Catch you later.